Hey, welcome to For the Story Podcast, the only podcast with high charisma. I'm Ash. And I'm Avery, and that's goddamn right. Yeah. We're some pretty likable dudes. Yeah. And all you other podcasters <laughs> suck. Take that. Cause, no, cause, that's not true. They're this, nice people. Because <laughs> this week, we watched How to Lose a Friend in 15 Dates. That's not a real movie title. I think I... Pushed a I bunch think you of, made that up. Yeah. I, yeah, I just pushed movie titles together. Fuck you, Kelly. <laughs> Yeah, you you just described like like three romantic comedies starring like Ryan Reynolds and Adam Sandler and, and, <laughs> and like of course and the some late, other people. The late Heath Ledger. Uh, yeah, it, Jessica Alba yeah. would be in one of them. Of course. It just like mush them all together. Oh, Dane Cook, there's one. Mush them all together, and you got whatever you just described. <laughs> How to lose a, a date in fifty first tries? <laughs> I hate about you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's our uh that's our romantic comedy that we're directing guys i look out for it you know how they because did, it's like, coming valentine's day and new year's eve or whatever like they did those like yeah. date based ones let's do like a of really course. boring male only holiday saint patrick's day or like labor day <laughs> labor day <laughs> yeah it's gonna be like a, a concentric like romantic comedy that culminates with a woman going into labor on labor day <laughs> that's so bad <laughs> You're welcome, Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, my, they, my they're gonna fees, steal our ideas. My fees twenty bucks. How how many like excellent movies have we pitched on this show that somebody's just like skimming off of us ne- and creating? Nearly four. <laughs> Ne- uh, yeah, nearly four. <laughs> well, great. Here we are. Uh, we're we're finally talking about a, a, a listener submitted uh, request for a movie. Yeah. Uh, our good friend Kelly requested that we review the movie Killer Bean Forever. Fuck you, uh, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I've never heard of this. I've never seen anything about this. Uh, but we, we watched it and guess what? It's all free on YouTube. All hour and 25 minutes of it are free. So, uh, yeah, there you go. If you actually want to watch along with us, I don't know why you would want to watch this, but if you actually want to, um, feel free to do exactly that. Um, but, uh, here we are. Uh, Ash, do you have anything to, uh, any housekeeping stuff? Let's, uh, sweep some stuff under the rug. If you know what I'm saying. If you give us a rating on <laughs> iTunes, and leave us a, a review, like a, a movie to review in the thing. Maybe it won't be this movie. Thank you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. People are gonna remember when we watched Cats, and people were like, "Watch Cats again." Yes. It's it, like it was what? two weeks ago. <laughs> it was not long yeah. ago. <laughs> remember that all that time ago? <laughs> it's like no, leave us alone. <laughs> We don't want to watch it again. We Just know. kidding. But seriously, if you guys uh, leave a rating and a review on iTunes, it would be really cool. We don't know why, but it bumps us up whatever chart they have. They, I guess they have some kind of algorithm, right? Um, and uh, yeah, so leave us five stars or even leave us four stars. Yeah, you know I what? We I'll, can take a four star. I'll take a four star. <laughs> Give us some constructive yeah, criticism. Yeah, exactly. Like, let us know how we can provide better content for you guys. Um, but, uh, yeah, we Except would definitely Kelly, love that. You, you lost your, <laughs> you, they, you don't get anything anymore. We could, we could make this a Kelly show, but not anymore. Now it's just, it, nope. W- yeah, we were going to make it the Kelly show, but <laughs> it's no longer the Kelly show. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'm going to grill you because you're not here to defend yourself. Guess what, Kelly? I think you look very handsome without the beard. Take that, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was pretty nice of you. <laughs> oh shit! Am but, I being uh, nice again? I'm so used yeah, to being mean. You're doing on that this thing show. where you're nice and you think it's an insult. <laughs> hey Avery, you make great content and you inspire me to be a better creator. Piece of shit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's very nice of you. <laughs> Ash, you're a reliable co-host, and God damn it, you're always on time. <laughs> I am. I, yeah, I am yeah. very. Um, it's uh, like a, an illness. <laughs> I remember being the first person to every bar and bat mitzvah I went to when I was 13. Oh, wow. Because it was That's cool a... to be late. But I <laughs> was like, I would like to be on time for this. It just seems logical. I'll get my first taste of the snacks. And yeah, I think that'll be good. 
<laughs> yeah, well, that's that's very good. Your punctuality definitely brings a lot to the table, especially since I'm always late. <laughs> so, so I think we balance out. Yeah, thank God you're not my period. Did him, uh, ao, because <laughs> then I'd be uh, pregnant, which would be no, concerning no, as the, a as a male. That's not a thing. We're not women, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, so, oh, some events have been set into motion that cannot be undone. Ash and I tried really, really hard to make a YouTube video of trailer reactions. It's part of this new thing that we're trying to do. And we recorded it in the wrong format, and I accidentally tried to convert it to the right format. I mean, I did that on purpose, but I accidentally corrupted the files. Nice. And uh, so, yeah, I fucked that up. Sorry, guys. But that's going to happen at some point. Um, we're, we're looking into doing more trailer reactions and talking about that kind of stuff and doing some stuff on YouTube. Uh, but we, we started it. We're going to... We're gonna we're going to give it another try sometime soon and uh, try to get some YouTube stuff going because that, that seems like fun and I yeah. have a webcam now, so why not? Mine's right? terrible, <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> you know, have, so have, well, soon enough, soon enough you'll be here and we'll be able to just like do, we'll just be able to sit in front of my computer. Yeah. You know, have we, so have we announced that easy. officially on the show? Uh, we've talked about it a couple times. Why don't you uh, let our lovely listeners know? I am being priced out of Los Angeles. <laughs> I have to. That's a grim way of looking at it, but yeah, it's kind of true. It's kind of true. Uh, I will be moving to Austin in March. We'll figure out how that affects our schedule going down the line. We're going to try and keep our content coming out for you guys. But uh, yeah, Avery and I are going to uh, we're going to live together. Hell yeah, we're doing it. We're having a we're, content we're gonna... house. Yeah, if we're gonna room together, right? Well, not, well, we're gonna be in yeah, separate rooms, but well, like bu- still but bunk beds, though. Like, yeah, definitely bunk beds. We have two. We actually we have two open rooms in the apartment, but we're definitely getting bunk beds so we can make one a studio room. <laughs> wait, wait, well, <laughs> which would be cool. But <laughs> how how would we do this? We each get bunk beds. You sleep on the bottom one. I'll sleep on the top one, but in different rooms. <laughs> 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 that makes no sense. <laughs> Just me oh, yeah. bringing home a date and being like, no, 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 we have to get in the top one. You gotta one. sleep on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> we have to get in the top one because th- the bottom one's Avery's. He, doesn't he have his own room? <laughs> yeah, but he's the bottom bunk. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> I, get, I have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's what we're doing. We're gonna set up a like our, our little studio space type deal. I, we, I'm not sure exactly where we're gonna set it up yet, <laughs> but... Uh, but it's all like it's all in the early stages of development. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to convert part of my room over to. I don't know. We, we'll figure out the logistics of that later. But uh, but, but yeah, that is that is a thing. Talk about it for an hour instead of this movie. Yeah. <laughs> I do, but <laughs> but unfortunately, I don't think that's going to work. As uh, I don't think that's as interesting as <laughs> to the listeners as it is to us. All right, fair but, enough. Uh, yeah. Um, so I was going to say something else too. I had one more thing. And I totally it escaped my mind. The bunk beds thing just totally threw me for a loop. <laughs> but, but but whatever. As well as um, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. So so Ash, mm-hmm. did you watch any interesting movies this week? No, <laughs> I saw no. Oh shit! I saw no. All you watched is Killer Bean Forever. <laughs> yeah, all I've watched since Great we week. recorded like Sunday. Uh, so like three days ago, it was Killer Bean Forever. Yeah, it's true. I've uh, yeah. had all this time off from work, so I've been hitting the gym. Uh, hey. Except for today, where I'm like, my body is so fatigued because I've been going twice a day. Because um, I'm a god damn, because I'm a lunatic, and uh, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, and uh, my like, I just a lot of growth going on right now, so I'm just like, ooh, got to do this all the time, and I'm just exhausted and didn't go today. Um, in the afternoon, this morning I went. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god, dude, that's crazy. Yeah, you know, I've been trying to get back into it a little bit myself. I went, I went yesterday and I actually did some like weight training, and I did some weight training again today, and it feels good. I, I've been doing like I've been trying to like end the uh, the workout session with like 20, 25 minutes of cardio, just like easy on the elliptical. Disgusting. Just as like kind of a cool down. I, I, I don't know. I've been enjoying it. It I, makes me feel good. I don't. Like, know. I feel great right now. I don't, <laughs> I don't enjoy cardio, vascular work. I. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't even think I like working out. I just am bored. Yeah, that that'll do it. <laughs> that'll definitely do it. Like, what's but, free? Uh, yeah, uh, I can go to the gym, I guess, and listen to music yeah. and podcasts. Sounds wonderful. Yeah, yeah, that is a good point. Yeah, that's what I've been doing too. But uh, hell yeah. So uh, so no, you just went to the gym. That's that's cool. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, because I like worked in the middle of the day and then I did gym morning and night because I only had four hours of work during the week. So that's been what I've been doing. Um, anything I've been watching? No, like I, I haven't watched uh, nothing. I keep yeah, trying to well, start shit. something, being like, oh, I need to watch something. What about you? You Please tell me you watched something. I did. Okay. I actually did. I watched a couple things. I've been doing this uh, thing where I watch, like, so Netflix has an unholy amount of films, right? Mm -hmm. Like, just, like, unnecessarily large amount of films. And they just, like, pop up. Like, I don't even know where they're, how they're making this or finding the time to make them because, or if they're, they're not even advertising them half the time. No. They're just, they're just coming up. And, uh, and I think, I think what it is is that people are producing really small indie movies and Netflix comes in and like gives them like, you know, like, like $10 million and says, Hey, we're going to slap our, our name on this and, and put it on our, our website, <clears throat> which is kind of a good idea for, for any producers. Sometimes they like strike gold and they actually put something like legitimately good out there, but, um, uh, so I've been watching some of those. And I, uh, I, there were two that came up that fall into this class of movies that I'm, I'm slowly realizing is a lot larger than I thought. But it's uh, I like to call them aliens clones. So uh, basically the same thing as the movie Aliens. And there's a lot of these movies because there's a whole bunch of iconic scenes in Aliens. And the one that I watched that I actually like brought up to you. Oh yeah. Um, is called, it's called spectral and it, it was like not great, but it, it was better than I expected. I thought it was going to look like real cheap and like all of the props that they were going to use were going to look really plasticky and bad and like bad lighting and, and that, that sound thing that I mentioned before when they use the volume leveler that like ramps up the background noise when people aren't talking or in between words. That bugs the crap out of me. But it wasn't like that at all. It was actually like pretty impressive. They used like some cool sets and but uh, basically the idea behind the movie was uh, it was like sometime in the future and this guy who invented these military like like goggles that uh, the, the Marines were using was picking up these, these like weird ghostly figures and they were like killing Marines so they have to go in. They bring the scientist guy along with them and there was that scene it's in every aliens clone where um basically the scientist guy is with like captain badass and they're in the 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 truck looking at screens while one by one the team of marines is picked off by the alien force uh and and then the scientist guy has to be like captain pull your men out now they're getting murdered in there like that kind of thing <sighs> happened like beat for beat in this movie. And there were some other stuff too that came up that's not coming to mind right now. But yeah, so that's a thing. Uh, honestly, though, it was better than I expected. The the the, the twists that they put in there were, were kind of like, I don't know. It, it, there really wasn't any. It was just aliens. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, it's so. like, I like, I like motif movies that play, pay homage like that uh, with like slightly different twists. I think it's yeah. like it's not not fun. I think it's a lot of fun because it's like it's like consuming new content, but also being super comfortable. So it's like good to watch before you go to bed, which I'm assuming yeah. you did because yeah. you texted me that at like one in the morning your time. <laughs> pretty pretty much. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it, it was like, I don't know. It turned out OK. I, I was I was pleasantly surprised because normally those movies are not great. But yeah. uh, this one actually was OK. Another one that I watched that also falls into this class of aliens clones um, is a movie that's also on Netflix called Doom Annihilation. Oh, the new uh, Doom remember, movie. Yeah. I started and, to uh, watch it and then the giant red portal thing came on and I'm like, N I'm not doing this. Yeah. And I'm like, no. And the thing is, is like Doom is cool and it has cool lore, I guess. It's very, very bare bones. But um like, uh, basically the idea is that there's a, a space Marine. He's the last guy left on Mars after a demon outbreak that came, who come through a portal. They kill and zombify all of the scientists working in the Mars station. And he has to go through and one by one kill all of these demons until he gets to the big bad demon. And that's pretty much anything related to doom is basically exactly that. Um, and that's pretty much what this was. There was another, there were like some other scenes they tried to do that were super similar to aliens, like the team of Marines all having like witty banter, which I heavily put quotes around because it wasn't very well written. Um, but you know, it's just stuff like that. There, anything with space Marines is going to draw influence from aliens yeah. just very hard or halo. It's, it's almost hard not to, or halo, which 
honestly, Halo drew almost all of its inspiration from aliens. But uh, shit, you know, cool stuff, I guess. I, I like the idea of space marines. I think that's fun. When it's done right, it's cool. I don't think it was done very well in Doom Annihilation, but there you go. So that's what I watched. <laughs> Jeez, we, should we talk about what we like? I'm just kind of pissed because we had all that gold watching those trailers. I know we had good stuff and we lost it. Yeah. What did we? Uh, what were the trailers we watched? We could go back through. We we got on. A, we watched like eight of them. Yeah. We and we're, we're never gonna be able to put it up, which is good, which kind of kind of really sucks. I was. I'm sorry. I lost them. <laughs> I'm really sorry. So we but, watched. Uh, um, we watched Black Widow. Yeah, which is Black Widow. It looks like a Marvel movie, but starring Scarlett Johansson, and the cast looks fun. And she, who's in it? David Harbour's in it, and um, the girl from Midsummer. Yeah, which were the only two actors that I recognized. Yeah, I'm sure Nick Fury's going to be in there. Probably Jeremy Renner as well. Yeah, I kind of um, expect Jeremy Renner to be there. Um, yeah, what I'm like, I'm wondering when it's going to take place. I think like at it's what point. like. Between Civil War and Infinity War. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of like a gray area. They could add some stuff in there. Yeah. Um, interesting. Either that or it'll take place before Avengers, which would kind of be interesting. Yeah. But uh, I, I think you, you the thing that you brought up that was really interesting when we were talking about, because you're like, I don't know any Black Widow characters. I'm like, just guess that their name is Black Widow. And you were like, oh, so they're just going to replace her with the girl from... from Midsummer. Midsummer. And I yeah. think you're actually super right. I think we're just gonna have another Black Widow that's the Black Widow for Midsummer. Yelena yeah. or whatever her name is. Um yeah. we really, weird, really astute. Hey. Um and then we also watch we also watched Ghostbusters Afterlife. <laughs> I I don't know, I'm torn. I, I'm it could it, there's like the slimmest chance that it's gonna be like decent there, and bring something new. Avery <laughs> There's, it's so it's possible, man. I'm not I'm not gonna completely dismiss it. But the chances are it's gonna suck ass. All right, it's like we both same, know that. Why? Why? Who? Who was like? You know what movie also used the subtitle Afterlife? That it did really <laughs> great things for their series, and it makes so much sense with Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but like, the uh, fuck is that? Um. What else yep. did we watch? We also watched, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Dr. Doolittle. Oh, of course. <laughs> but we couldn't find the trailer that's special in the theaters with the dragon. Yeah, which we, I honestly, I think it might just be for the theaters. That might be why. And maybe it never got released to YouTube. Yeah. But uh, there, sure. there is a dragon. After we watched that and we, we like, we went through a couple. We were trying to find it. Yeah. We were like, come on, like, where is this? Um, we, we both like collectively were like, maybe we imagined it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just not we can't we couldn't put it past uh, like a trailer to be so dumb and we just like imagined it but uh yeah God. I don't know. Uh, what else we, we also watched color out of space which looks really cool i yeah. can't wait i just love nicholas cage yeah, so much it's gonna be great we watched so, wonder woman 1984 which is whatever yeah know, it could be good yeah it's probably gonna be fine she's wearing uh, heels for most of the movie and then that dumb outfit at the end <laughs> Yeah, and there's a part when she's in the shopping mall because you know, because <laughs> she's a girl. <laughs> come on, because she's a girl. So, <laughs> also, why, come on. Why would you call it 1984 if it's not about a surveillance state? That's my question, right? I, I, you know what? I I wonder. There might be something about that in there. Okay, right? Like they might do that. Yeah. They wouldn't just like they wouldn't make it like 86 or something. Otherwise, yeah. Right? I'm wondering if there's a Wonder Woman villain named Big Brother. Oh my god, that would actually that would tie in really well. You think there is? Do you uh, know this? Do you know if there is or not? Uh, there isn't. Hmm. Oh, that's disappointing. Maybe they'll just like make one <laughs> for this. Yeah, that'd be great. Um. Yeah. What else? What else did we watch? We watched some other ones. We watched one that was really funny and we laughed at a lot. I, I'm like drawing a blank now. Dude, we covered most oh, of Oh, the Scoob. Scoob. That looks adorable. It looks really cute. It looks real It's bad. probably not going to be great, but if I had kids, I would take them to that. You know? Classic. Classic. Yeah. Um, yeah, so those were the trailers we watched. I guess we'll get into the budget breakdown. 
Uh, yeah. Oh, we also watched Underwater, the trailer for that. Oh, yeah. Which, and the trailer was just the whole movie. And it was we also like, oh. just aliens. Yeah, it was, <laughs> well, it was alien. It was like the first one. It was like the same thing. Even like the, the underwater spacesuits that they put on just looked like the spacesuits from Alien. Yeah. Like, exactly. It's so, going to be awesome. Yeah. And that's a weird cast. Sorry, I bumped my mic. That's a weird cast, too. Yeah, like Kristen Stewart's in it and then a T- whole bunch of other people I didn't TJ really recognize. Miller. Oh, yeah, and TJ fucking Miller's in that. Like, why? <laughs> I, the next thing I expect to see TJ Miller in was like the Godzilla versus Kong movie. Because he doesn't he just seem like the guy who'd be like, oh, I yeah. guess we're doing this. Yeah. And he'll say something like meta and the, the <laughs> right? Like something fourth wall breaking. I totally think I did this in a video game once. <laughs> yeah, or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, oh, God, that's so bad. That's such bad writing, and it's so, like, exactly every line he says. Oh, yeah. He's like, oh, I played this game before. <laughs> Get out of my way. I played this before. Um, yeah, exactly. God damn it. Um, fucking TJ. Well, well, let's talk about let's talk about some budgets for Killer Bean Forever. <laughs> like, does this have a budget? Do we know? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, I guess we'll get into oh, no. it. I have to look up a quote from this movie because it was so unremarkable that I don't know any quotes from it. Yeah, I, I honestly I can't think of any either. Um, I know they were talking about shadow beans. There were yeah. Uh, how, how about this? Um, uh, looks like what we got here is a standoff. <laughs> This is the budget breakdown. Oh God, they could just be from anything. Yeah, no, no that's, that's, in, that's whole, in like every movie, whole fucking movie. <laughs> so the approximation for the budget for this is less than a million dollars. Clearly, okay. um, yeah, I see it. Some guy probably made it himself, to be honest. It was, <laughs> it was distributed by a uh, Beverly Hills, California management group uh, with the most uh, generic name of all time. Uh, called is that what it's called? Cinema Management <laughs> Group. This sounds like a front, doesn't it? Yeah. So I'm you trying think they're to... laundering something? Yeah. Uh, talent. I don't know. Um, <laughs> My clothes. Yeah. Because <laughs> this movie looks so sexy. Um, <laughs> shut, shut up. Uh, <laughs> the only one of note that they released was the movie Hoodwinked. Which was hmm. the one where it's like red, Little Red Riding Hood, but it's like a murder yeah. mystery. I think I remember. I remember seeing trailers for this. I've never seen this. Oh, that's right. It looks like shit too. Yeah, the animation looks so bad. Oh yeah. Oh my god. You remember this one? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I don't think I ever saw it, but I don't think I did at least. Wow, that looks awful. All right. Anyway, sorry. I had to look it up real quick. <laughs> so yeah, there's not like obviously. This movie doesn't have anything because it's not a movie, really. Yeah, <laughs> it's free on it's free on YouTube. Yeah, so we can say yeah. that uh, in terms of domestic box office, it has eight point six seven million views on YouTube. It was really released. it has that many. Yeah, that's more than I expected. You know, I think there was a YouTuber who did a video about this, and that's how Kelly heard about it. Oh, okay. Um yeah and I think that's probably why why it, people like gravitated to it. This well it was only uploaded on YouTube in 2019, 2018. And So it's got to be a recent thing. No, cuz yeah. the the actual movie release date was the 1st of January 2009. Yeah, it kind of looks like it. Um hmm interesting. I think it, it I honestly I'm pretty sure it gained popularity recently because of his name is Penguin Zero. Um, uh, he, he did a review of this movie and that's how Kelly. Oh, found it, I, think. I know this yeah. guy, this guy, he moist critical. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't love him as a content creator. I think he's a very like kind of a boring guy. <laughs> like, I think he's funny. I really, cause like I, I've watched yeah. him do like his reaction videos to like the, 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 I, I think it's like, TLC or some channel where they do like the the forging of uh, swords show and he like rea- his reaction to it is like yeah Lo- uh-huh. don't 
don't hate on the weave. The weave's going to win. And that's like his entire commentary for the whole thing. And he, I just don't <laughs> think he's, he does that. I he, just, he's got some good stuff. He does. He, he's I, pretty funny sometimes from time to time. I, yeah, I just um, can't get into him. He's, I think he's kind of a boring content creator, but that's just my opinion. Uh, yeah, and yeah. I wouldn't take his opinion for what is a good animated film. <laughs> <laughs> He's, yep. that's, that's definitely not the realm I'd be like like I don't know maybe it's his haircut but like best co- <laughs> Call of Duty mods um, would be like a video that I trust him about or like bad video game modding I don't know I think that's purely his haircut because that's not what he does <laughs> at all I think yeah, it's yeah. just what is yeah I think he I think he started by by doing stuff like that I think he used to play uh, video games and and like it used to be really popular on YouTube where uh, uh, content creators would record themselves playing Call of Duty and then record a podcast and just put it over top or play the game and talk while they were playing uh, about unrelated things. You know, it wasn't always the same stuff, but uh, uh, people don't really do that so much anymore. But I think that's how we got started. OK. Um, yeah. And that that was a bigger thing, like at the end of the, the 2000s and like early 2010s. Uh, that was a very popular format. For a lot of people on YouTube, and I think that's what that's where he got started. Okay, uh, if I remember correctly, but yeah, yeah, you're you're kind of spot on with the best Call of Duty mods. Yeah, I <laughs> pretty much it. Yeah. It, it makes sense so. that that's where we we this fucking nightmare came from. Um, yep, yep, cool. <laughs> uh, what else do we have? Is this like rated anywhere? Do we have any lists that it's on? Like, no, dude, because no. <laughs> It's it's got 8.6 million views on YouTube. So eight points like that's pretty impressive. That's like a lot of views. Yeah, it's 8.6 so, million individual times. Oh, I, f- I found it seen. on um, I found it on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh really? Yep. Uh, really? Audience score okay. ratings not available yet. Tomato meter <laughs> total count not available. Oh, interesting. So a lot of people have seen it on YouTube. Hmm. But it's not rated. Should we do? Should we like be the first person to rate it on Rotten Tomatoes? Give it a two. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> uh, killer Bean Forever. I'm. I'm gonna. There it is. Oh my god. No critic consensus yet. So nobody's fucking seen this. No. No critics have seen this. No, of course not. They get paid yeah. money to do stuff. Yeah. Yeah. This is like not a legitimate movie. It's no. not even feature length. Can we talk about that for a second? Yeah. We, yeah. we should have done. I should have done more research. That's clearly the problem. Yeah. yeah. And I, I am so sorry. 85 minutes. It comes in at 85 minutes. So they they couldn't even. And that's including the credits and stuff. So they couldn't even get it to 90 minutes, which is normally our typically like our criteria for reviewing things. But I feel like this we is We don't this have close criteria, enough. dude. Come yes, on. we do. <laughs> no, you're right. We don't. But uh, not feature length, so it's not a real movie, technically. Yeah. <laughs> so, so there you go. That um, that already tells you a lot about what's about yeah. to happen here. Yep, I think so. Um, well, should we get into our expectations? Yeah. Baba, baba, duke, duke, duke. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What? <laughs> Great. <laughs> Lovely. Um, yeah, so as far as my expectations for this, I, I was think I, I didn't know. I have never heard of this. I knew I, it was bad. I, I remember like when on when we picked it out, I Googled it just to see like like a screenshot. I was like, this looks like shit. This looks like trash. Just like something that somebody made on their own. And I'm pretty sure that's exactly what happened. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting much. And I'm glad that I was spot on. Because if this was actually good, it would have been very weird. <laughs> I so. just, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm like at a loss for anything. Yeah. It's going to be pretty difficult to really <laughs> talk about this one. Yeah. But, uh. What do you what do you think going into it? What do I think going into this? Yeah, I thought you know, I thought Kel- Kelly was like a healthy guy, <laughs> just mentally, <laughs> probably mentally the most solid of our little friend group. <laughs> now I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, he picked this. This he actually told me word for word. This is my favorite movie. So be nice. 
Oh no, fuck you, Kelly. I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> he said he said word for word, I love this movie so much. I'm extremely passionate about Killer Bean Forever. I now concepts that doesn't in this sound movie like are, concepts in this movie are how I model my day to day life. Oh, buddy, interesting, interesting stance to have, Kelly. Yeah, yeah. I'm worried yeah. about you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so excellent. Um, cool. So we got to talk pros. We have to. We have to ha- say something good about this. Okay. Right. Um. Never before have I seen a film that works so well at 1.25 speed. <laughs> I was going to say the exact same thing. <laughs> um, so, so initially, before we start, I started watching it, Ash texted me, watch it at 1.25 speed. And I was like, it, like you'll get through it in an hour. Because it, it brings it down to like an hour. If you watch it at 1.25 speed right. or like an hour and five, six minutes, something like that. Yeah. Um, and uh, I was like, okay, great. So I did exactly well, that. The other thing I forgot. said was, this is the worst paced movie I have ever seen. Yeah. It's very slow. So, but you bump it up to 1.25 and it seems legit. It seems like a legitimate movie if you bump it up to that speed. Um, and I forgot like partway through and remembered like, oh shit, I bumped the speed up on this. So like during one of the action scenes when he fights the, the, the combat like like Jet Lee Bean or mm-hmm. Jet Bean, I think they call him, which is a terrible. That's awful. Boo. It's not a good bun. Uh, no a good. good. Bun, oh, but yeah, we'll talk about yeah. that later. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But I bumped it back down to one one time speed, and it, it's impossible. <laughs> like everything that looks okay at one point two five speed looks really slow and bad at one time speed. Yeah. So, which it kind of goes into your theory that this whole movie was supposed to be. Um, like, like they really pushed the speed uh, or the length to try and make it a feature length film. Yeah. So maybe they slowed it down. That's what I kind of think. <laughs> yeah. Because like it, it really did. Like the voices sounded normal at 1.25 times. Yeah. You know, like maybe they really did. They they slowed it down by like 20 <sighs> percent or whoever think, oh uploaded God, this. Maybe. Wait, what was the... Well, uh, no. According to Wikipedia, let's see what the runtime is supposed to be. Yeah, I think it's I think it's still supposed to be an hour and 25 minutes. Yeah, hour so, 25. So they did, like, legitimately slow it down. I think they actually might have. Because all the voices sounded very, very normal. Um, the, I Did you notice... Did you, like, like, pick out any of the voice actors? I kept hearing Peter Griffin, like, a lot... I don't know if somebody um, similar is in there or if somebody was doing. So we only have five voice actors, really. Yeah. Um, so One of them is Jeff Liu, by the way. Which is a, who's a monster. Um, yeah. Let's look in here. Uh, the power the guy who, from Power Rangers Dino Thunder. Uh, oh, awesome. watched. Is it's a lot Vegas of video game trip? people, it looks like. Yeah. Um, gotcha. Yeah. He was Ethan James. Um. This is also a video okay. game guy from games I've never fucking heard of. Siphon Filter 2. Siphon yeah. Filter 3. Never heard of him. Uh, Matthew Tyler from The Sex. Oh, this guy was in real movies. Uh, Faith, The Sex Movie. The Sex Movie? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which I feel like we need to watch now. And then yeah. uh, David the We movie. Met, who was also in real movies. He was in The Troubadours. Never heard of it. Um, double spaced. Uh, yeah, nothing really. The parts left over. Amaru. Interesting. So I guess like, I don't know. I've um. Wait a second. Interesting. I googled Matthew Tyler and like Brian Session, and they had the same like photo. What? Uh, Google Google Matthew Tyler and then Google Brian Session. I wonder if they're the same guy. And he just like wait a sec, hold on. Hold on here. Wait, wait, wait. I accidentally wrote, wrote Oh my Oh no Brain people also Sessions. Search, search for. It. Okay, oh. never mind. Yeah, okay, good. I was like, holy shit, no way. Like, no way is this just the same guy and he put like three different names up there to make it seem like the cast was bigger. <laughs> that insane. Yeah, for real. Um, well, okay, good to know. Um, <laughs> ooh, close call. 
But uh, shit. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I guess there was nobody from Family Guy in there. No. I was like, I, like I kept hearing it. I kept hearing like a Peter Griffin or like a whatever his the the fat son's name is. I forget what his name is. Uh, Evan. Uh, is that what? Is that it? <laughs> no. I just. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's like Lewis or something. Um, but I I kept I kept hearing like what sounded like that, and I I I don't know. It it might be um, God, I'm. Totally forgetting the name of the creator of Family Guy. It's escaping me. What's his fucking name? Uh, George. No, no, stop it. <laughs> You're confusing me. Hold on. Family Guy. What's his fucking name? Seth MacFarlane. Scrooge. I think, I think Seth MacFarlane does all the voicing work for Family Guy, or at least a lot of it. Mm-hmm. So it would be pretty incredible if they got him for Killer Bean forever. But, yeah, that's not going to happen, dude. Let's yeah. be real. Um, but would it be that far... Out of the range, out of would it be that McFarlane out of the range of possibility for Seth MacFarlane? Boo. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about any of this now. Um, I don't know. <laughs> we got to talk about pros, though, man. We got to fucking do it. I got to figure out something that's good about this movie. Um, yeah, we get, well, there's something we can figure out that's good. Oh. It looks good at 1.25. Honestly, the action looked good at 1.25. Yeah. Um, right. Oh, uh, the reflections in the eyes were good sometimes. Yeah, I can agree with you. The actual animation on the eyes, with like they definitely spent the most time on that. Yeah, because it's very and clear. Like, see, it was sometimes it was it looked like a bunch of gobbledygook, but sometimes like you get the reflection of the other person in the eyes. Um, yeah, which is great. Yeah. So yeah, definitely, uh, definitely better than you would expect. The animation, like, universally bad. But but when you speed it up, it kind of looked good. Yeah. They kind of <laughs> right? did, they, they, they did the thing that Aquaman did where they just, like, copy-pasted the same models doing the same thing. Like yeah, how they did they with did. the sharks and Aquaman. Yeah, um, they definitely did that. God, I, um, can, we, can we move on from pr- pros? I'm going to die. Yeah, try. let's get into some cons here because there's... And this movie's just like, come on, like we could sit. It's I feel like it's low hanging fruit. We could sit here and just like pick at this movie all day. Like clearly it's bad. Yeah. But uh, but I I think we have a couple of succinct, like very clear cons that can be discussed about this movie. And uh, Ash, go ahead and uh, start us off. All right. So this movie is a microcosm for the um, prank video on YouTube mentality of yo. Why are you getting mad? It's just a prank, bro. <laughs> you know what, what, wait please expound i'm sorry like what like, do you mean this is clearly built to be a meme of a movie and it has been memefied uh yeah. and it's it's truly awful and in kind of a not even meme worthy way um okay where it's just like so bad um that and like because like there are bad things that deserve to be memed cats for example like that's meme worthy this is just gobbledygook and it's like kind of like what it's just a meme man i'm just having fun people who act like they like this shit no this is like the problem it's like it's like watching a vitaly prank video where he like does something that could earn injure someone severely and he goes whoa just it's just a prank man that is the <laughs> mentality of this film, and that is what I think bugs me about it so much. It's uh-huh. like, I like, and I think it has less like vision than a trauma movie. And our listeners will know <laughs> how little I like the vision of trauma. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, I can I can see what you mean. Uh, I think uh, there's. There's definitely a class of movies. That, and I don't know if 2009 was a little too early for this, but I feel like that's around when it started that were made to that were like intentionally awful. And uh, and I think that this do you know what I'm saying? Like uh, uh, like the the shark NATO shark to Yeah. You know, shark yeah. Kano. The, the, the one the, what was the boulder uh, NATO or something where the, there's rocks <laughs> falling on Boston. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Never mind. <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, so I think that this started out as a legitimate project, but then halfway through they realized how bad it was and they just like, they were like, we're not putting any more effort into this. 
It, it's you know? it's called stonados. Just to, sorry. Oh, oh, okay. Thank you <laughs> for clearing that up. Um, uh, but it just seems like it, it. It's I don't know. Like a big part of it, and the reason that I think that whoever did this at least initially took it earnestly and really wanted to to put this forward as like a legitimate movie. Um, it's the the biggest problem that I have is that like why beans. Yeah, they like, don't even do any good bean puns. They they try a couple. There's Jet Bean, and that's like the closest they get. And it doesn't make sense. Yeah, just, it's like give me it could have just been people. Give me a scene where, um, like, Killer Bean shoots something, and it makes like a little like jingle, and then he can be like, <laughs> "What can I say? I'm a musical fruit," and then kill the guy. Like, come right, on, that would have been great. Something like that. You know, and and there was nothing like that at all. Yeah, and it like they they could have just been badly animated people. And I actually think that he made them beans because probably animating people would be a lot harder, right? Yeah, like, like something that's clearly ridiculous already. You can just like an anthropomorphized bean. Like it's gonna look ridiculous regardless of if it's animated poorly or animated well. You know, yeah. and and so I think that's why that he picked he picked beans, but none of the writing fits in with that, except for the names of the characters, which is like there's there's a cappuccino and a killer bean, which doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. There's no um, fava. Yeah. They're not paying they're, respects they're, to lima beans. Yeah. Yeah. They, and they're all coffee beans, which I feel like was an obscure choice. Yeah. Like, wouldn't you pick, like, you'd pick some, like, I, I don't know. And not even, like, like weird, like, fried. kind of esoteric, like, coffee bean names. Like, my name's Aravica. <laughs> like. Yeah. Yeah. They, they just. <laughs> like, what? Like, that would have been cool. Yeah. But, yeah, there were coffee beans. And, like, I was so certain there was going to be a joke that it was going to be, like, <laughs> it's time you got refried. Yeah. <laughs> or something just, like that. Nothing like that. Not even nearly that smart. Like there, and, there is a tact to making a good bad movie, and like a, a movie that deserves to be a cultural icon because of its badness. And yeah. this just kind of missed the mark. Like completely, it's bad for bad sakes, but not in an entertaining way. Yeah, it's like there's there's two types of bad movies. There's bad movies that are so bad. That they're enjoyable to watch. And then there's bad movies that are so bad that they suck your soul from your body. It's like it's more agonizing to watch the second kind than anything else. Like it's like comedy is in it, it, attempts at comedy are in there and they're so terrible that you feel worse after the joke. Yeah. <laughs> and like, like I, anti-comedy. I, I'd add a third one, which is earnest attempts to make a good a good movie that is a bad movie. And that's my favorite kind. But I just it doesn't really fit those molds. Yeah. And uh I don't know. It's it's like this this bad movie culture has really ramped up in the last 10 years. And I see the beginning of it here, you know, and um, it's just like there's something so disappointing about a failed attempt at making an intentionally bad movie. Yeah, that's like sad. It's like it's so, so pathetic. And it's just like it's I feel like it's harder to intentionally make a bad movie than it is to make an intentionally good movie because you have to like. Take things seriously, but be like, I don't know. I don't know. This doesn't work for this movie. It doesn't fucking work for this movie. Uh, there, there's just nothing that makes it worthwhile. There's nothing worthwhile about Killer Bean Forever. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, the, the, the series started out as a bunch of shorts. It probably should have stayed there. I can't yeah. imagine these shorts were good either. Now, I, you know what? I didn't know that that was the case until I like read the Wikipedia page 20 minutes ago and, and like <laughs> in the middle like, of this podcast. Exactly. And it's you're right. It should have stayed as bad. Like I could see this series being a fun like YouTube short series like from sure. 2008. It's got more <laughs> of a like like new grounds 13 year olds love this and it was also made by a 13 year old kind of vibe like that's the only way that i'd be impressed by this um is if this was in fact made by like a 10 year old Um, yeah instead of someone who worked on uh, the (laughs) x-men yeah which jeff lude fucking worked on and it's it's just it's uh, it seems like he thinks the word bean is funny 
Do you know what I mean? Because because there isn't any like other reason for them to be a bean. So it seems like he's just like they're bean. They're all beans. It's funny, right? Beans are funny. It's it's just like there's no joke there. There's like nothing. It's like the formation of like something that he thinks is a funny word. And he made a whole nearly feature length movie out of it. And <laughs> he slowed down an hour of content to nearly be a feature length movie. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So so there you go. Killer Bean forever, man. It, just long live Killer Bean. <laughs> How are you going to kill you? Yeah. So I, I just like is this everything about this movie was just so pointless. It was so pointless. Yeah. And and that's the thing. There's there was no message to tell. There's no metaphor at all. They they don't even need to be beans. Yeah, and like it's just not a good like like it is like someone trying to meme on the internet, but uh they're just bad but at it. But not succeeding. <laughs> they're, they're, they're just like a boomer. And like yeah. they're just like, I hate my wife. It's like, ugh, this is not a meme, yeah. sir. This is just kind of <laughs> mean to your wife. <laughs> yeah. That's that's the best <laughs> the the best boomerism like. <laughs> when it gets ridiculous and they're just like, Oh yeah, maybe then my wife would be dead. <laughs> it's like, okay. It's um, like, yeah, I hit my wife with my car. It's like uh, and then all the other boomers are like, ah. <laughs> I felt this way too. And I'm like, yeah. uh, you I also be- hate my wife. It, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> what if phone, but too much? <laughs> What if Bean but too much? That was this movie. Exactly. Yeah. It's a, this is a boomer me movie and yeah. not yeah. in a fun way. Yeah, it's the same people who were in the theater when I was watching Terminator Dark Fate that were laughing at every line regardless if it was intended to be a joke or not. No <laughs> humor at all in that movie. At all. No humor. That, there was nothing funny about that movie. And uh, they, they laughed at everything. I was like, why, why are you here? Like, <laughs> like, go watch Killer Bean Forever at home. You'll get the same level of humor. <laughs> like, you could be at home right now watching Killer Bean Forever. But no, you're here bugging me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just fucking finish this, dude. I can't. Yeah, yeah, this has got to be a short one. There's not a lot to talk about this movie because there's not a lot. Like, like seriously, just like the the first scene is. Let, let's talk about the first scene here, and then they could just extrapolate the rest of the movie, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> right. It's it's very much the same thing throughout the whole thing. Um, but basically, there's a, a a whole bunch of beans having a break dance party in a warehouse. Yeah, uh, great coordination. Um, yeah. Yeah, very clearly, almost copy pasted levels of coordination. Yeah, um, yeah. I think they so wanted to be great. the Jabberwockies. Yeah, something like that. But they were they were some vagrants. There's some hoop diddlies in there, and they were blasting their music, right? And Killer Bean calls him up on the phone and says, "Hey, turn it down." And uh, and they're like, "No." And then the guy turns it up, and he's like, "You like that?" And then Killer Bean comes in and murders every single one of them. Because they wouldn't turn their music down. Yeah. I mean, like, listen, that one DJ who was uh, playing next to your apartment back in the day, (laughs) you were like, I want to go yell at this guy, but he's got some hot beats. (laughs) What? Did I say that? Oh, yeah. (laughs) I don't remember that. Yeah. That does sound like something I would say. And then you went, you like walked over, and it turns out that he was DJing for a pool party where no one was in the oh, pool. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. This is a better story than Killer Bean Forever. Can I tell it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right. So this was around the time that I started working for the company that I work for now, and I work from home. Um, and, uh, I was, it was like the end of my day and, uh, it was like almost five o'clock and my windows are like, somebody's playing music out. It sounds like, you know, one of my neighbors and I'm like, Oh, damn it. Neighbors playing music again. But it was like, it was like four 30 in the afternoon, four th- or four 30 or five 30, something like that. So I was like, okay, like it's not a big deal, but then it like kept going and like for almost an hour. And I was like, this is getting ridiculous. Like. Like, my windows were vibrating. <laughs> and I was like, this, like, can't be the case. Like, I got to go and talk to him. So I was going to go upstairs. Like, I went outside and I was like, okay, so this this isn't coming from my building. Like, where is this coming from? I look out in the parking lot. 
Uh, it gets like quieter as I go towards the parking lot. So I'm like, okay, I'm going the wrong direction. And then, um, and then I like walk out in like the backyard area and I can hear that it's coming from not only the apartment complex that's right next to the one that I lived at, which was all part of the same, like, like management. Um, they were just like separated and there was like a little bridge that you could walk between them, but it's a DJ playing at a pool party, uh, that is right behind the management building. And I'm like, holy crap. The management at my apartment complex are my asshole neighbors. And uh, so I went over there and no, but there was one person like asleep on a on a chair at the pool. So I go to be fair, into the they, office. They've done a lot yeah. of ecstasy and actually OD'd. I just want to be clear about that. Yeah, they were actually dead. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but uh, so the DJ is just like chilling out and I, I go there and I'm like, dude, like what's going on? Like, how long are you going to do this? And he's like, oh, till like 10 p.m. or something like that. And I was like. That's not cool, man. And so <laughs> I tried to like knock on the management door and be like, and be like, Hey, what the hell? And they're like, Oh, we're closed. It's after six, like waving me away. And I was like, no man, like turn this fucking shit off. Like, this is ridiculous. There's not even anybody here. Uh, like th- my windows are rattling and I live across the street. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and to my absolute surprise, they fucking turned it off. <laughs> Hell yeah. So I was I was like, you guys need to turn this shit off because this is ridiculous. And they turned it off. So I stopped their pool party. I felt pretty good. <laughs> I was like, yes. So I took a nap. It was very nice. But Con- there we go. Okay. Confirm. I just yelled about that. Yeah. Was, I'm like getting like residual anger just thinking yeah, about it. No, I can't listen. believe they did that. Confirmed so. Avery's the Grinch in the new movie for sure. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's something that that really bugs me. That that like really stresses me out when like music is so loud that like my windows are rattling. It's just like, can't I get away from everybody in my own home? Yeah. Can't I not have the bar at my apartment? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. And like yeah. my fucking windows were rattling, and it would think like seriously, they were like a half a mile away. <laughs> so, so there you go. <laughs> you should have called the cops on your own management office. I that, think that would have been awesome if they didn't turn so it off. Funny. I probably would have. Yeah. Yeah. And so it, it was just like that blew my mind, like the level of like, like just just a lack of awareness. Like this yeah. was the management company that was blasting their entire apartment complex out. And there were people that were closer. I feel really bad for those people. Huh. Needless to say, I don't live there anymore. Anyway, so, so that's that. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, hey, let's get into our rating and review and our five words for Killer Bean Forever. Yeah. Yeah. What do you got, Ash? Uh, being there, done that. Boo. Um, that was so much better than what I was going to say. <laughs> thanks. Uh, yeah. Fuck you, Kelly. <laughs> fuck you. Um, <laughs> this is not a movie. It's not a feature length film. They slowed it down. The jokes are not. They're not. And they're not even good. Not jokes. Trust us, we would know. We've been not funny for most of our lives. Most, uh, yes. <laughs> not now. Now we're hilarious. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, no, this is like a bad attempt to make a bad movie. Just fucking give up, dude. Like, don't. If you make a sequel, how dare you? Um, literally, li- this is the biggest waste of money, time that's probably ever been put on the internet. And it's the internet. Um, and most things on it suck. I I don't know. Like, like I guess it's not that offensive, but it's like, it's it's like, I can't imagine missing both the good movie and the bad movie bar that much. Um, <laughs> this movie is a zero. It's a goose egg. Yeah. All right. Cool. Great. <laughs> You're Fuck totally you, right. Kelly. Fuck you, dude. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so my five words or are it is intentionally bad, right? Um, because this movie just brought nothing to the table and I couldn't tell if somebody earnestly created this movie or if it was supposed to just be like a joke and passed along. Dude, it's a joke. Um, Dude, just, yeah. Why are you freaking out? It's a joke. But there, It's just like there was no comedy. There was nothing funny about this. I guess whoever made this, uh, Jeff Liu, must really think beans in the word bean is funny. And that's that's his sense of humor. And you know what? That's fine. 
But don't make an almost feature length movie about it, I guess. Yeah. Uh, just yeah. like use your time better, I guess. Yeah. And it, it just doesn't make any sense to me. I'm not surprised this never caught on. Um, but people are making fun of it 10 years later. So good on you, Jeff Lou. Um, like, uh, yeah, yeah, this movie is just, it's not really worth your time at all, but it is free on YouTube. And that's the only reason that I'm going to say, yeah, go ahead and watch it because it's free on YouTube. It's free on YouTube, dude. Like, like it's a waste of your time. But if you are, if you truly feel compelled to watch it, just like out of curiosity, it's there. Um, this movie gets a one out of 10 and only because it looks all right at 1.25 times speed. (laughs) <laughs> so so there you go um but yeah killer bean forever guys uh give it a shot why the hell not right <laughs> i hate everything yep yep this is this is our lives ash this is what we do oh, thank <laughs> we god killer next week bean forever guaranteed next week's movie is gonna be better we're watching brokeback mountain um it's gonna critically be acclaimed yeah, yeah it's like an actually critically acclaimed movie never seen it um neither have i neither have i yes we will That's awesome. probably discuss the dynamics of watching a gay movie as two straight dudes and and how that plays. It will, it will probably get metaphysical. Probably not, though. Yeah. We'll probably yeah, just maybe. make some dick jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're right, too. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm actually looking forward to Brokeback Mountain. I've never seen it myself either. It's gonna definitely be better than this. I mean, oh, we yeah. started off the new year with Killer Bean Forever. <laughs> we can only go up from here, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Also, is so. Kelly trying to steal my steez as the worst movie guy? I don't know, but he he found the the most legitimate bottom of the barrel trash for us to review, it's and he didn't garbage. even try. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't so. watch movies. He's Exactly. So, so thanks, Kelly. Thanks for thanks for getting us start, started with 2020. That's on such a low note that we can only improve from here. So, oh, thank God. Um, first film of 2020. The year 2020 is a killer bean forever year. So keep keep that in mind. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, all right, guys. Well, anyway. Thank you guys so much for listening. Um, if you've managed to stick through our entire review of Killer Bean Forever, um, give us five stars on iTunes. Keep your eyes peeled for a YouTube video coming out. Hopefully someday. We're still working on that. We're going to end up doing it at some point. But um, anyway, we love you guys so much. Goodbye. Just a bean trying to get some sleep. Sleep.